Hey, Nerdy Sports Fan here. We are continuing our series grading teams' 2017 draft selections. So, common wisdom is that you don't necessarily know what you have in any one draft until the players have been in the league a little bit and figure themselves out as a player in the league. Most of these guys are making more money than they ever dreamed of. And, well, that changes people. So... Did they apply a great work ethic, or did they just party themselves out of the league? Let's dig into it, shall we? All right, so these Texans um, had a gift fall into their damn laps. Round one, pick number 12. The best quarterback prospect pre-draft process guy was Deshaun Watson. Everybody thought it. Everybody. Dogs knew that Deshaun Watson was the best quarterback coming out in this draft. The Bears drafted Mitch fucking Trubisky. Yeah. And then there's a whole other crop of idiots in the league that decided that Deshaun Watson ran too much, so he can't possibly be a good passer. So they passed up on him. Fucking morons. Number 12. Number 12. How the hell is Deshaun Watson the 12th overall pick in this draft? Either way. Bill couldn't screw this up. <laughs> I just He's trading away his entire team right now. Because Deshaun Watson is so damn good. And he covers up so many holes that they don't need anybody else on offense, apparently. They've had a crap-ass offensive line. They've had no real running back talent. And they just got rid of DeAndre Hopkins, arguably the best wide receiver in the league. And it's all because they have Deshaun Watson. They could not get away with the kind of moves that they're making right now if they did not have this man. He's fantastic. Absolutely freaking fantastic. Everybody was down on this quarterback draft class. And, and I understand. Mitch Trubisky is a tire fire. But Deshaun Watson and Patrick Mahomes are Hall of Famers. As long as they stay healthy. There, there is no doubt in my mind. Both of those guys are going to have gold jackets. So. I don't care. When people say. That is a good quarterback draft class. This is a bad quarterback draft class. Watch your own film. And if you like a guy, help him develop. And that's what's happened here. And Deshaun Watson is lights out. Again, one of the, I would say, top four young quarterbacks in this league. He will be one of the people shaping the future of the NFL. So... On from there, Zach Cunningham is your second round pick, number 57. Middle linebacker out of Vanderbilt is uh, not an eye-popping talent, okay? But he's still on the team. He's still getting good number of reps out on the field. Uh, you, you can't... Linebacker's a, a whatever position in general. It, it's similar to running back in my mind. A linebacker on defense is the running back of the offense. It, it just There's so many in the league that are serviceable, solid, NFL-caliber talent that if you draft one early, either the first or second round, that guy has got to be bananas, okay? That guy has got to be absolutely fan-freaking-tastic in order to warrant that high of a selection. And, uh, well, Cunningham isn't. But he is right in that range for the middle to the end of the second round as far as quality of player-wise. So this is a good draft pick, not a great draft pick. Um, here's where the wheels fall off of the car. Now, in classic Texans front office fashion now... Um, they can't get out of their own damn way after this point. Deontay Foreman, uh, the running back out of Texas, was supposed to 
be a solid contributor on this team. Well, he's not in the damn league anymore. And now your team's trading away DeAndre frickin' Hopkins for hmm, David Johnson Jr., a guy who should be retired. God, I can't stop thinking about that. Anyways, um, fourth round, pick number 130, uh, Julian Davenport, offensive tackle out of Bucknell. Yeah, I don't care either. He's not in the league. Anyways, moving on. Carlos Watkins, still on the team, still in the league. Doesn't do a damn thing. Doesn't matter. Um, fifth round pick. Here we got Tristan uh, DeCoud, Oregon State safety, who is no longer in the league. And... Your seventh round draft pick, oddly enough, Kyle Fuller, the center out of Baylor, is still in the league, but no longer playing for this team. He's playing for Seattle. So, your first two picks were worth a damn. The rest of them, you can write off entirely. Any draft you get your franchise quarterback in should be an A-plus draft. This is not. This is not because, well, old man Bill in the front office just keeps on tripping over every single freaking obstacle that he sets up for himself, by the way. And, God damn, I, I, like I said, dogs knew that freaking Deshaun Watson was the best quarterback prospect coming out in this draft. And... and you needed a quarterback. It was so obvious. I cannot give the man credit for just handing in a slip of paper that probably has three other names crossed off because he didn't believe that Deshaun Watson would be there. I'm giving this draft a B plus because Deshaun Watson is so goddamn good. The rest of the draft I can... It doesn't matter. It does not matter. Is Zach Cunningham a solid NFL player? Sure. But he's a damn linebacker. Okay? Linebackers are a dime a dozen in this league. They don't matter as much anymore. Corners. Corners. That's where things matter. Defensive backs and safeties. And anybody who's covering a wideout they matter so much more than linebackers today. So did you get a solid linebacker? Sure. Does it matter? Not a damn bit. All right. Anyways, I'm giving the draft a B plus. Like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Hit me up on both Twitch and my other YouTube channel, The Nerd E Sports Fan. I know. Clever, right? So that's where all the video game content's going, mostly to Twitch. I've got a couple of things on YouTube, but for the most part, YouTube doesn't like video game content, I'm discovering. If you do... Hit me up on Twitch. I'll be broadcasting Warzone as well as some other games that I play like Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat 11. Thanks for watching.